Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be simplifying a rational expression. We are given that a times b is equal to 1 and we're supposed to simplify or evaluate a over a plus 1 plus b over b plus 1. I'll say not evaluate necessarily because we are not, we do not know if this has a constant value, maybe we're going to find something in terms of a or b or both, but anyways. I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. And if you can find the fourth method, please let me know. So first method, I'm going to make a common denominator. Multiply a by b plus 1, and multiply b by a plus 1, and multiply the denominators. One thing to keep in mind here is if we're looking for real solutions, I mean, if you want this to be defined, of course, a should not equal negative 1, b should not equal negative 1. So those are the conditions we need to have. So you can get a, b equals 1 from negative 1 and negative 1, but in our case, it's not possible. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this. Again, always keep in mind that a, b equals 1. That's going to be helpful along the way. So let's go ahead and distribute this and see what happens. a, b plus a plus a, b, plus b. I just wrote the b, a as a, b, because it's commutative. We're dealing with the real numbers, right? Not just any arbitrary ring. Anyways, the bottom gives us a, b, plus a, plus b, plus 1. Okay, one thing to keep in mind, what was that? a, b is equal to 1. So this is 1, and this is 1, and this is 1. So we have a plus b, plus 1, plus 1 in the numerator, which is a plus b plus 2 and in the denominator we have a b which is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 we have a plus b plus 2 wow very cool obviously that's not a coincidence and this equals 1 as long as a plus b plus 2 does not equal 0 but it just means a plus b does not equal negative 2 and that's not going to happen because a and b are both different from negative 1 but what if one of them is negative 3 and the other one is negative 2, I mean negative 1, or positive 1, I should say, then their sum is negative. So you have to exclude those values. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. The second method involves the following. I'm going to rewrite the problem so you can see the original. We have AB equals 1 and we're supposed to simplify this expression. So, for my second method, I'm going to isolate b, b is equal to 1 over a, since none of them can be 0, I can write b as 1 over a, and then substitute that here, not there, but here, more like. Okay, so let's see what we get from here, a over a plus 1, plus b over b plus 1, equals a over a plus 1, and I'm going to replace b with 1 over a, here and here, make sense? Replace b with 1 over a. Substitution. Remember, that's a very, very powerful method. And then after that, it's just, you know, basic algebra or arithmetic, whatever you want to call that. Make a common denominator, so on and so forth. But there's a good alternative to making a common denominator, and that is multiplying by a. Okay, let's do it and just distribute. The first one stays the same, a over a plus 1. And this one, a is going to cancel out. You're going to get 1 from the numerator. And the denominator, if you distribute this over that, you're going to get 1 plus a, right? Easy, look, we didn't make a common denominator, actually we did. Anyways, so now they have a common denominator, so we can write this as a plus 1 over a plus 1 or 1 plus 8, doesn't matter, same thing. I'm just going to write a plus 1, and guess what? This equals 1, as before, hopefully. I mean, not hopefully, but it should be the same, right? It should be the same, of course. Okay, third method. The third method involves something that a lot of people use for these kinds of questions, especially if your teacher didn't ask to show your work or like prove it or something. Let's say you're taking a multiple choice test. You're taking a competition like AMC 8 or AMC 10 or I don't know, some type of competition for middle or high schools. Then you can do this. What is it? Just use random values, as long as you're not violating the rules. Like, don't use a equals negative 1, obviously. You don't want that. How about a equals 1 and b equals 1? That works, right? Because their product is 1, so it's good. 
Replace A with 1, 1 half. B with 1, 1 half. You get 1. Is that the answer? Are you sure? How about trying A equals 2 and B equals 1 half? Let's try these. Replace A with 2, 2 over 3. Replace B with 1 half, 1 half divided by 3 halves, which is 1 third. 2 thirds plus 1 third is equal to 1 again. You can try millions of pairs and you're always going to get 1 because that is the constant answer to this expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.